Welcome back guys. Today I'm gonna to show you how your average everyday guy can get the most money for his catalytic converters. I have these five cats off of my Ford Ranger out there. I'm turboing it, so I need to get rid of them. And before I just took them to a scrapyard, I didn't know anything about cats. Turbo to Civic last year, brought my cat in. They gave me 20 bucks. And I said, aren't cats worth a lot of money? And he said, well, there's lots of stolen ones lately, so this is like the most we can give you. And I'm like, well, it's better than it sit in my garage. So I don't want you guys to get ripped off like I did. That's why I'm making this video, and that's why I care so much about this now. So I posted them on Kijiji. That was the first step. I put the price at 200 and I said they will go to the highest bidder. So then I started to have people messaging me and uh, like this guy said 500. Let's see, this guy said 520. Um, so that's my highest bid on Kijiji so far is 520. Somebody on Kijiji also recommended me to go to this place called Converter King in Edmonton. That's what I'm gonna do now and see if I can get a higher price than 520 and I'll let you guys know here. Okay everyone, we just pulled up to Converter King here. So I'm gonna grab the cats and go in there and talk to them. I don't wanna put a camera in their face, so I think I'm gonna put the GoPro in my pocket and just see if we can get the audio off the GoPro and you guys can hear what they say. So my highest bid is 520. Originally I wanted 600, I don't wanna to get too greedy, but these guys say that they pay really well and they only expect a 5% profit margin. So hopefully we get a really good price here. Let's go. Throw you in the pocket. How's it going? Good. Is this where I bring the cats back here? It said rear entrance? Yeah. So I got these for you guys. Those two are garbage. Garbage? Yeah. Why is that? Because they're uh, filters. Filters? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'll show you. Did you look at them? Yep. It's, it's got swirlies in them, yeah? In, in there? Like yeah. in the honeycombs? Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean? Is that in these ones? Okay. So those ones are no good? Those three? Maybe. You guys pay, pay pretty good here? Yeah? They only gave me... 700 for the whole setup. 700 for the whole setup? Yeah. Could you do any better than that? Seven. I got I got 700 online already. 740? 740? Okay, can you do 750? Uh, sure. Yeah, 750? Yeah. Okay. Take care, guys. Okay, we just got out of Converter King here. We got 750 for the cats. Um, which I'm pretty stoked about. I was happy with anything over 600. I'm sure those cats are worth over a thousand, but I didn't want to get too greedy. If you guys could hear the audio in there, he offered me um, 700 for them. And I had a slight little white lie and said somebody offered me 700 online. Um, that wasn't quite the case. My highest offer was 520, but I know they're worth a lot. I know people want to buy these cats to bring them to a place like this so that they can make a bunch of money. So if somebody's paying me 520 online, I know that you take it to a place like this, it's gonna be worth more because they have to make money too. So we got 750, I'm super happy with that. A shout out to Converter King here, bring your cats there. Okay, so there you have it guys. That's all you have to do, two steps. Post a Kijiji ad, say um, you'll take the highest bidder and then get a price off there, a baseline price and then take it to a local catalytic converter shop, like the one I went to, don't take it to a scrap metal place. It has to be a catalytic converter shop. They know what they're talking about. Um, even the guy there said that scrap metal places just don't know what cats are worth really. I think he said that. So yeah, do those two steps. You'll get a lot more money for your cats than just scrapping them.